Hello everyone, welcome back to Hacking with Ken. So this is day five in networking for hackers. So we are back in uh, this playlist. So today we are going to be talking about ports and services. Now um, you, you you are using your laptop, you are using networking, you are using the internet. How are you communicating with each other? I mean, there are a lot of services going on. I mean, I opened Firefox and I'm using WhatsApp. Uh, then I'm using YouTube at the same time. Then I'm using Spotify at the same time. How the hell is this going on? I mean, if uh, let's imagine that there is one way communication. So only one app is uh, able to do the communication. So let's imagine that uh, we would be like stuck here right now if uh, only one app was allowed at one time. So this was solved by providing ports. Okay. Now, port acts as, uh, you know, a uh, communication channel for a service. Now, a service uses port for communication, for exchange of data, for transferring and communication, stuff like that. So, basically, what I mean by services, it can be any service, like uh, it can be FTP, it can be SSH, it can be a web service, it can be your Spotify, it can be your VLC, it can be, your, it can be my Firefox, it can be your Chrome, it can be my, uh, you know, any software it uses some specific port in the network to run i mean it it uses any port i mean even not in a network most of the services are using ports in your computers right now now we have uh, 65553 ports in our network so but uh, um, now the question is but i only have <laughs> Uh, I only have one Ethernet port or four USB ports in my laptop. How uh, how I'm getting 65,535 ports? So this is, these are networking virtual ports. These are provided uh, these are provided to you. Okay, the, uh, they do not exist in physically. They only exist in virtually to make the communication uh, faster and reliable. Now each service uses. Uh, some specific port and you don't have to worry about anything anymore okay let me show you um, for example uh, let's uh, do quick and map scan here uh, let's do quick and map scan of my system if you don't know what and map is don't worry I'm just using it to show you okay let's uh, do quick and map scan of my system okay as you can see it showed me what port and services uh, are running on my uh, laptop right now okay as you can see uh, SSH is open on port 22. FT HTTP is running on port 80. Now, what will happen if I run some other service on port 80? Let's try. Let's try to run python3 hyphen m uh, HTTP dot server and let's type 80. Uh, let's see what happened. As you can see, it gave me an error that uh, this port is already in use. Now, this is not a basically uh, type of uh, you know like the error that just show like this port is uh, not available but this is uh, what it's saying okay it's saying that it's uh, this port is already is already in use now if i type 70 it will happen why because 70 is not in use 70 is free uh, same way if i try to type 20 22 it will say no this port is occupied you cannot use that port so now what to do Okay, but uh, as we see that, uh, as we know that there are, uh, we have uh, like a lot of options. I mean, 65,000 ports are, I guess, more than enough. I mean, even if you're running a server and a server is at its maximum capacity, I don't think we can uh, use all the ports in the network. So there are a lot of ports and you don't have to worry about it. Now I can use, let's say 12,000 for my communication i can use any port between uh, 65,535 um uh, sorry it was uh, 35 uh, i think i spoke 53 for the first time so so this is uh, uh, this is basically what port is look like now every port is running some service or every service is using some port as you can see so the first thing you need to know is that uh, we have uh, a uh, few public ports that are set or default like uh, uh, until 1024 uh, we have all the ports that are publicly accessible or 
uh, what uh, I mean by that, it does not mean that uh, they uh, others cannot be publicly accessible, others can. But these are like publicly default ports. Why? If a, a server is running AD port, it means that there is a website running. If a server is uh, running 22 port, it means that SSH is running. Okay. Like uh, before 1024, all the ports uh, has these default services running or these services use these default ports. Let's check. Uh, I opened up a Cloudflare blog or stuff like that. So basically, this is really good, really good learning. Um, as you can see, there are 65,535 possible port numbers, although not all are in common use. Some of the most commonly used ports along with their associated networking protocols are port 22 and 21 are used for file transfer protocol FTP. Now you probably heard of FTP, you connect to a server, you upload a file, you download a file or uh, uh, things goes on and on. So FTP works on 20 and 21. Now 22 SSH is uh, just like taking a remote connection on someone else's computer but not with the GUI uh, only with the CLI interface. So this is SSH and SSH uh, considered to be secure and it works on port 80. Now port uh, 25 is SMTP. SMTP is for uh, simple mail transfer protocol. It handles your mail. I mean if uh, if you receive mails, it means some SMTP server is running somewhere. Okay, you can set up your own SMTP server to receive and send mails. Port 53 is for DNS. DNS is important as I explained earlier, you know. Uh, 80, as I said, if uh, port 80, uh, sorry, if port 80, then we know that uh, a server is running a website. Okay, uh, we checked it. Let's uh, try uh, my own IP 127 and let's go for it. It's running a website. I mean, it's not uh, uh, beautiful, but it's still running. So it's something. So and port 123 is for NTP network time protocol is uh, used by your uh, clock to sync up with, you know, um, each other or stuff like that. So uh, port 79, port 443 is HTTPS. It's secure version of HTTP with the SSL or TLS. So as you can see, we have a lot of ports going on. Okay. And uh, port 3389 is for RDP remote, uh, remote desktop protocol. So as you can see, these are some famous common known ports. You can uh, study them. So each service, each protocol uses some port number. Okay. There is no process in your system uh, running that is not using any port. Okay. Even a single uh, minor process uses some port to run. So, okay, so this is all about ports and services. Okay, and I keep saying we are uh, going to be starting OSINT series and we will, we will soon enough. Uh, next video will be on lab setup of OSINT or so be prepared and be ready uh, because OSINT is one of the best techniques out there to gather information about someone and I'm going to show you how. So I guess this is all for today and uh, let me close this. And if you haven't claimed the Wi-Fi hacking course, there is still one day left or few hours left. If you want to, you can claim it. Uh, I uploaded the video. Uh, the link of the course is uh, in the description of video. And uh, this is all for today. And I will see you guys in the next video.